Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Child of God, congratulations on your new pregnancy. And for you that is under the sound of my voice and you have been going through a series of miscarriages and right now you've not been able to conceive again, I want to also say congratulations to you because by the reason of this encounter, you are conceiving again and this time around, you will not miscarry. I said you will not miscarry. You will no more have that still bet again. You will no more cast your young in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible speaking in Esther chapter 23 from verses 25 to 26. The Bible say that ye shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. He did not end the blessing thy bread and water. He said he would take sickness away from the midst of thee. Beloved, I do not know the reason why you miscarried in the first place. I do not know the reason why your pregnancy is going through some shaking right now, why you are experiencing those bleedings. It might be as a result of what you ate with your mouth. It might be as a result of a sickness in your body. Hear me, child of God, right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every sickness in your body that is threatening the the continuity of that pregnancy, every sickness in your body that is always triggered miscarriage. Every sickness in your body that is always killing your babies in the womb as your amen will turn that right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed of that sickness. Be healed of that sickness. Be healed of that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. That scripture went further in verses 26 to say, He said, That shall nothing cast their younger. This is the promise of God to you that is serving Him in truth and in spirit. I do not know the power that wants to oppose this word in your pregnancy. He said, Nothing shall cast their younger, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days, God said, He will fulfill anything at all right now in that your pregnancy that is trying to oppose this scripture in your life that is trying to oppose the manifestation of this scripture in that your pregnancy I command those powers to lose their grips off you and that pregnancy right now any power that said you have miscarried before that you will not be able to carry again and they want to turn you into a barren woman right now as your amen with thunder, I command the power to lose his grips. And the power that said you will not carry this baby in your womb to full time, I command the power to be arrested by the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I prophesy the manifestation of this scripture in your life. The number of the days of that pregnancy you will fulfill. I say the number of your days in that pregnancy, you will fulfill. You will serve the Lord. He will bless the bread of yours. He will bless what you eat. He will take sickness away from you. That sickness that is threatening you, the Lord is taking it away right now. That sickness that is causing miscarriage and death of babies, the hand of the Lord is taking it away from you right now. And the Lord is ensuring that, that none of you will ever cast your younger, nor ever lose your babies again. The hand of the Lord is stretching upon that womb right now that have been dark barren, and that womb is opening again to conceive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, beloved, from today henceforth. May the hand of the Lord Almighty be upon you day and night. May and the angels of God come round about you and that baby and those your pregnancy and ensure that no weapon of the enemies from the fashion against you in that pregnancy that will ever prosper. Any weapon of the enemies to hijack your pregnancy through dreams. Every weapon of the enemies to take away the life of the mother or the life of the baby. Ah, in this season of pregnancy, may the angels of 
God minister to you right now and destroy such an evil hand in the name of Jesus Christ. May the hand of the angels of God minister divine protection upon you all throughout this pregnancy. May they give you continuous sound sleep at the hour of the night. Dream invaders will not cut short your joy. They will not abort your baby. You will not be injected by demonic medical personnel through dreams of the night. Your baby will not die. You will not die. You will not be afflicted through dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. The number of the days of this pregnancy you are fulfilling. Her. The number of the days of this pregnancy you are fulfilling. Her. You are enjoying sound health all the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, her. you are enjoying sound health. Her. Your baby is growing perfectly well. Her. Your baby is forming very okay. Her. There will not be anything at all her. that will stunt or stop the growth of that baby in the womb. No afflictions of the wicked is allowed to assess that baby in the womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not die in pregnancy. You will not die giving birth to your baby. Your baby will not die at the cost of you carrying them in your womb. Your womb will not miscarry. Your womb will not kill your baby. You will not eat any poisonous thing that will bring about the death of your baby. You will live and your babies will live. The number of the days of that pregnancy. May the Lord Almighty cause it to be fulfilled. May the Lord Almighty fulfill it in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hand you over right now to the Holy Ghost and I ask that the Holy Ghost will ensure that the glory of those babies in your wombs are preserved. It will not be stolen in the womb. The Bible says that the glory of Ephraim flee away from the womb. He am a child of God, no agent of darkness we hijack the glory of your babies in the womb. The glory of your babies will not fly away in the womb. The glory of your babies will not be stolen at the point of their birth. The glory of your children will not be hijacked. It will not be covered. Any agent of darkness that want to minister to you on the day of your delivery. Any agent of darkness that wants to minister to you during antenatal on the mission to steal the glory glory of babies. May the angels come around you and your baby and ensure that they will not be able to succeed. The glory of your baby will not be stolen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the riches and the honor the long life that your children has are coming to this earth with her, it will not be a standard. It will not be a standard. It will not be a standard. A child better. Anyone that will actually bet your baby the first time, they will not take away the riches they came with her. They will not take away the glory they came with her. They will not take away the long life they came with her and give them a shortened life. Your children will live to fulfill that days on earth. The glory will not be covered. The glory will not be dimmed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I link a bag and don't shake a leg at it. Beloved, I pray for you from antenatal to your day of delivery. You shall not be ministered to by satanic medical personnel. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will be of duty on the days of your antenatal. There will be of duty on the days of your delivery in the name of Jesus Christ you shall deliver like the Hebrew women your delivery shall be safe your delivery shall be speedy your delivery shall be smooth it shall be supernatural it shall be sound it shall be secured by the power of the Holy Ghost it shall be covered by the blood it shall be sorrow free you will not lose blood you will not lose water you will not have complications after delivery, your baby will not have complications. In the name of Jesus Christ, none of you will bring forth to sorrows. None of you will bring forth to sorrows. You will not finish giving birth to baby and to hear a bad news about your family. No, it shall not be so. Every plot of the enemy to turn your day of joy into sorrows. Ah, that evil plot of dear 
I command to be terminated right now. Those evil days will not surface. Those evil days will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you and your pregnancy. Ah, that baby in your womb and your family members. I cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. May the hand of the Lord Almighty who shielded Job and his family as recorded in Job chapter 1 verse 10. May he shield you and your baby. May he shield your husband. May he shield your other children. May he shield the work of your hands from the enemy that they will not be able to assess you. They will not be able to assess you. They will not be able to assess you and your household all throughout the season of your pregnancy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God to whom vengeance belongs to fight for you all true. May he rain judgment upon anyone at all that will rise up anywhere, that will rise up with sorcery, that will rise up with astral work, that will rise up with enchantment, that will rise up with any kind of ritual, with any kind of sacrifice, anybody that will rise up with animal or human blood to cause short ah, your pregnancy days, anyone that will rise up with any kind of ritual to terminate your life in pregnancy, to terminate your life during delivery, to terminate the life of your babies. Let the God to whom vengeance belongs to arise with the sword of war and strike them dead. Let the speaking power in the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you and your babies, speak for your family all throughout the season of pregnancy and ensure that you are supernaturally protected all true and even beyond in the name of Jesus Christ I release you right now into the hands of the Holy Ghost go in this day might enjoy safety all throughout your pregnancy be divinely protected all throughout your pregnancy season enjoy sound health enjoy divine covering ah the same prayer I pray for you and your family and deliver safely with no complications or evil reports in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen 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 beloved if you agree with me in this prayer today I want you to comment at the comment section and say it is settled it is settled it is settled in the name of Jesus Christ and that settles it please don't forget to continuously watch or listen to this clip over and over again or throughout your pregnancy season. Keep listening to it. Keep echoing. Amen. You might not have enough strength. Some of some women during pregnancy, they, they, they get weak at the altar of prayer. But I ensure you, beloved, ah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, as you pray this prayer in your house, in your house on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, as you enter any week of your pregnancy, as you enter any dream star of your pregnancy, I, I ensure you, beloved, you will be divinely covered. You will be divinely protected. No weapons of the enemies from the fashion against you and your pregnancy that will ever prosper. You will not cast your younger. Even on your day of delivery, don't forget to play this during your labor. Begin to play it. Play it over and over and over. And as you're playing it, heaven is all over you. Divinity is there protecting you from the evil eyes, protecting you from the evil ones. And you will enter into that favor room and come out alive with your baby alive rejoicing and glorifying the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ and lastly don't forget to share your testimony in case you are listening to this and you have been having complications I assure you you are already healed go and shake back yourself and don't forget to share your testimony I await your safe delivery report it is done it is done it is done I cover every one of you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Go in this thy might and return back with your testimony. I am still your sister, Apostle Amaka. Do enjoy your pregnancy season. The Lord is with you. Bye for now.